Hey everyone, welcome back. So I actually have quite a lot going on this week. Uh, this morning, uh, my original mini art for my newest divas went live over on Etsy, which was really exciting. And um, at the end of the last vlog that I shared with you, I spoke about the online Comic-Con that I traded at recently. Now I did donate a prize for the children's art competition which was really cool and I've been in touch with the winner and they've chosen the character that they want me to paint for them which is really cool although it's one that I didn't know who they were so I had to do a bit of a, a Netflix and YouTube research because I'm old <laughs> so they want me to paint for them a custom portrait of Entraptor from the new She-Ra she series over on Netflix which obviously I hadn't seen because I haven't watched She-Ra since I was a child in the 80s and it has changed but it's fun anyway I actually quite like the character I watched one of these YouTube videos for about 10 minutes of just her character and her like quips and foibles and stuff and I actually really like her so that's cool I've mocked up a few pictures for the winner to choose from and they've chosen their favorite so I will probably share with you later as a separate video like a like a process video or a time lapse or whatever of that coming to life so that's coming up in the next week or so hopefully um i also need to share with you a little bit of info about the hodgepodge letterbox lesson that i'm testing for tara which i'm really excited about i still haven't done it so that will be a, a weekend a job for this weekend and um i actually got loads to do today to prep the house because i've got a visitor tomorrow as uh, we're going to be working on the surprise for you all ready that, for July. So that's really cool too. I will try and remember to record bits and pieces as we go along. Hopefully there'll be more painting this week <laughs> too, as well as that's been a little bit neglected, what with uh, time off and sunshine and then other stuff going on. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of other events coming out at the end of the week as well. There's the launch of my wooden pins for the Indie Roller Friday event. And then next weekend is the Love Leaving Lockdown Fair with Pedal and Handmade Hour. So I've got some prep to do for that as well. And I should be going live, hopefully, on one of the days with Crafty Penguins. And that would be cool too. Anywho, I'm going to crack on and um, try and make the house ready for a visitor tomorrow as uh, we haven't really had anyone over since March last year and uh, you kind of just get used to it. <laughs> it's like living like a student, it's dreadful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and stop rambling and I'll video some more stuff for you later. Not a time lapse of me clearing the house though, no one needs to see that. So yeah, speak to you soon. So this afternoon I'm kind of taking a bit of me time, I guess. A sort of work, but not really. It's uh, testing out a new um, letterbox lesson from HodgePodge for Tara, um, just as a tester. And it's for her watercolour lesson. And I can't wait to start, actually. I'm really excited. It's kind of like playtime for me. <laughs> so I really wanted to just quickly show you what comes in the kit. Um, hopefully there's no spoilers. I'm trying to go for no spoilers for this, because obviously if you get it for yourself or as a gift for someone, you don't want to... Um, have like everything that's in in there spoiled for you but looking at what is on the website listing for her pencil drawing lesson I think I should be okay just to show you what's included in the box for you so I'll show you that and I might show you a little bit of me having a go at the painting and stuff later if I can get the camera set up properly <laughs> uh, if not I'll just link out to everything below um, yeah, the letterbox lesson for pencil drawing, the Robin, is already live on her website and available. And I guess this one will be going out at some point in the future once all the testing's done and everything's set up and ready to go. So basically what you get is a box full of all the materials that you need to do a watercolour painting. Uh, and it's in included within it is Tara's, like a print of Tara's, Robin that she's painted which is gorgeous so uh Mr Robin here is going to be going on my wall <laughs> with all my other work that I've had uh, artwork that I've uh, collected from uh, people as well and you get 
a reference photo to work from you get other bits and pieces you get loads of instructions which is great uh, like proper really sort of detailed step-by-step -step instructions with photos of each stage which is cool but as well as that there's access or you get a sent a link or you, there is a link to a youtube video where she talks you through it all kind of pretty much in like real time almost so you can if you're not really cool with step-by-step -step instructions like that you can sit and do it all with a youtube video which is nice uh you also get um obviously the watercolor paper uh to paint onto but not just one you get enough to do a few goes so if it goes wrong <laughs> if you're a perfectionist or if you want to just do a few and sort of see how you improve over time or if you want to make them as gifts for people then you've got enough there to be doing it and you get your paint brushes that you need a uh, pencil and then a couple of pens that you'll be needing as well for the the method that she chooses and one of my favorite bits which is for no good reason really is you get this really cute little tin which i like um and inside it's got a little uh, rubber that you can use for, I guess, for the pencil guidelines and stuff like that. And then the cutest, tiniest little, oh, hang on, let's hold that up the right way, shall we? The cutest, tiniest, littlest block of black watercolour. <laughs> Hopefully that'll go in focus in a second. Um, ready for you to paint with as well. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to get started. I... Uh, yeah, I'll try and do a bit of a time lapse, I guess, of uh, me painting and we'll see how that goes. That might come next or I might abandon that idea <laughs> depending on how well it goes. But yeah, I've kind of got a bit of me time this afternoon to do that as well. So yeah, I'll catch you in a minute. <laughs> So that was fun, my very first time-lapse video, which was cool. That was fun to, to make, film, whatever, put together. And also the lesson was really cool. I really enjoyed it. It was kind of nice to sort of sit and be guided through uh, painting something by someone else for an hour or so. That was really nice. And I'm really pleased with my little Robin. Hopefully you can see all the details there. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it, especially if you've never done watercolour before. Tara talks every through everything really well for you. I found it a little bit difficult in places, but not because of the lesson, more because I'm really bad at following instructions when I'm doing art. I just kind of like doing my own thing. Um, but I think if you've never done it before, or if you're used to taking courses, or if you like that sort of kind of guidance, that's wicked. I really enjoyed it as well. Um, just to listen and have someone chat to me while I worked as well, even if it was just on a video, it was really nice. Um, so today it is Thursday. I'm really hoping that my wooden pins get delivered by Royal Mail today because they go on sale tomorrow. <laughs> and they're already gonna be on sale today for my patrons as well because they get early access. Um, thankfully, I have photos of the first two designs, so Bella Donna Kiss and um, What's the second design? Ice cream. Um, yeah, uh, but I need some more photos or some actual photos rather than just mock-ups of the third design, so of George the Seahorse. But I'll video that when it arrives so you can see everything as it comes out of the box. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of admin things to do today and need to get my listings on Etsy and I really do need to get on with Entraptor for, for um, the um, Comic-Con prize as well. Um, 
Also today it is day four of the Join the Pattern Party Challenge and this is my version of botanicals. I do have loads of other dresses with flowers on but this is the comfiest to wear at home when I've got loads to do for work. So here it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on now and I will catch up with you all later. They're here! The postman, post lady, uh, came later than normal so I was like stressing about this that they weren't going to come today but it's just arrived, my pins are here. Uh, so I wanted to unwrap them with you just because <laughs> I'm really excited. So I've got, oh cute, I've got um, a little note from Tara. This is, uh, I think this is Duke, the duck. Oh yeah, the Duke, there we go. You should really go check out her artwork as well. She is really, really good. Um, and a really cute little note on the back. And apparently these extra ones on top are seconds. Although they look pretty awesome to me. I don't know. If she says they're seconds, I'll take her word for it. But they uh, they look really good to me. So I, I guess I can send sell these as seconds if needs be. They're here. Uh, anyway, I will uh, put the seconds to one side and uh, unwrap them. Seconds or extras? They weren't all seconds, I don't think. So, um, it's all nicely wrapped in blue. And I'm not sure the best way. I should probably, like, uh, move. <laughs> move the camera, but I'm too lazy and excited. So, it's here. It's all in blue tissue. And <gasps> It's like Christmas. Look at this new stuff. Oh. Okay, so you see it here first. You've got my, the Bella Donna Kiss, which is kind of like a signature for me now <laughs> with my skulls. Um, you've seen it before, but here it is anyway. It's wicked cool. Uh, and my, okay. These are all four centimetres high because that's what my patrons voted on when I asked them what size they wanted. I guess so they're a bit smaller when you actually wear them. Okay, so they come up sort of yay big on your collar or whatever or on your bag or wherever you put your pins, I suppose, or your flags on the wall. And then my surprise design or like, which was a surprise for my patrons as well. Um, it's actually George, who is one of my very first ever digital drawings that I did. And I'm so pleased with how he's come out. It looks so cute. So I'm really pleased with him. One of my friends has also just told me uh, what the word for seahorse is in Irish as well. So I will share that online um, because I asked people to kind of guess what the next design was. Or I gave a sneak peek, I think, of like the postcards. Um, Anywho, so I need to get these photoed because Kaylee at Wildkind photoed the samples for Belladonna Kiss and Ice Cream for me and they look gorgeous, of course, because uh, she's a wizard. Um, but I don't have any photos of George and I need to get these photoed today and edited and then listed on Etsy before they go live tomorrow morning. I also need photos for my patrons as well because they get a chance to buy stuff first. <coughs> Uh, yeah, and I've also got postcards as well that are going to be going up with the designs on too because anyone that buys them with a code uh, like tomorrow gets a free set of postcards as well, which is cool. So yeah, I'm going to get going because it's already pretty dreary outside. It's really grey, like a proper grey <laughs> midsummer's day uh, here in England, British summertime. Um, yeah, I'm going to photo these. I'm probably going to need the extra lights and stuff. And then... Um, yeah get them listed and whatnot so yeah i might try and shoot some behind the scenes nonsense while i'm photographing stuff uh just so you can see what i get up to and the absolute chaos that i will cause downstairs i feel really sorry for the mister when he gets home tonight but yeah um i'm really pleased thank you so much hodgepodge everyone go check them out they're they're linked underneath so we've got a bit of shaky handheld behind the scenes footage really quickly for you now <laughs> while I take photos in my dining room of um, me taking product photos for the pin magic. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around. Okay, so this is my dining room. 
and I have a different, a few different setups. But I always use my photography lights to make it brighter because it's grey outside. And uh, I have loads of, you've probably seen all of my props. Anyway, ignore the rest of the rubbish on my dining table. But I've got really a few cute little props to go with the pins. Uh, my mister got me this gorgeous uh, little chest with loads of crystals in for my birthday. And um, that works really well, I think. I've also got shell for George and then a few mocked up backing cards actually because you know in true hannah style i left getting my backing cards printed a little bit too late so they're going to turn up later so i've made some up at home because i'm doing the same thing but uh that's the backing cards the real ones will probably be nice and shiny and a bit thicker than that but these will be fine for photos and, uh, yeah that's it really uh i'm gonna carry on taking photos and then i will need to edit them and get everything on Etsy sharpish. Hey yeah, uh, it's Tuesday morning at the moment. So Friday happened at the end of last week, which was loads of fun. My wooden pins went live. Um, and then all weekend it was the Love Leaving Lockdown Market with Handmade Hour and Pedal, which was loads of fun actually. Um, quite tiring as well though, even though you're not there in person, it's still quite tiring like posting all the time and keeping on top of comments and replying to people and stuff like that you can't really switch off um especially because it kind of runs all night as well <laughs> so um so yeah yesterday I took a day for kind of like self-care and just chill out and get away from my screens a little bit so this is just a bit of an outro to the vlog and I'm going to get this edited and up on YouTube as soon as possible and then I guess I'll be filming the next one for you, probably like as you're watching this, I guess. And it will be July, which means it's Patreon birthday month. And I've got a whole month of kind of like celebration type things happening for it, which I'm excited to share with everyone as well. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on. If you like the video and the channel, uh, give me a like and a thumbs up and click and subscribe, that'd be wicked. And then you'll get like a little notification each time I share something. Next share will probably be, hopefully, the Entraptor video. So you'll get to see the fan art coming to life for the um, the prize that I'm creating for the Comic-Con competition. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a great week and I'll speak to you next time.